Dustin Young 86 or aka D Young Customs with another figure unboxing. Uh, first off, this video is not intended for children. If you are here, get the hell out of here. Do not watch my videos. You are not welcome. This video is not intended for children. And uh, I don't think I can make that any clearer. None of this nor any of my videos are intended for children. Okay? So today we have an, a, a uh, Ruth's Aggression Series 13 Chavo Guerrero. As you can see, I have a Chavo head here that I plan on putting on here. Oh, it doesn't look like skin tones are going to match. Well, son of a bitch. Might be switching the whole torso over. Anyways, Chavo Guerrero Jr. Maybe I'll do use him for my uh, torso swap video everybody's requesting for the jacks, which makes no sense because a torso swap's a torso swap. It all is the same. True drive. Done. Uh, anyways, I got this figure f from a flea market for five bucks, so, uh, it was a pretty cheap pickup. I just thought, you know, why not? They actually like that he has his, uh, flame boots on here, and they're actually the cruiserweight short boots, so he's not freaking as tall as, you know, Hillbilly Jim. Anyways, uh, let's look at the back of the card. You've got Chavo. Angle with in shorts because it's like he has a strap down but no straps. William Regal, Rosie, which I still need this figure. I haven't found him with his mask for a decent price. Tomko and then Shelton Benjamin. And then we have the belts down here. We have the WWE Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, the United States Championship, the Cruiserweight, the Winged Eagle. Sorry, Classic World Heavyweight Championship, Classic Intercontinental, and the WWE Tag Team. As you can see, there's no World Tag Team titles on here, or the Classic Tag Team titles like the Bulldogs and Heart Foundation had. However, if you look down here on the bottom, you've got Flair and Funk, Bundy and Andre, uh, Hillbilly Jim and Iron Sheik, Big John Stud, Yokozuna, the Heart Foundation, and JYD. Okay, so... Yokozuna is the only one that really doesn't fit in this era or that Terry Funk because that's the ECW Terry Funk. You know, they're in the WrestleMania 1 ring, which was a great ring. However, I remember when I bought this ring first, it was a complete fucking catastrophe because they didn't make the post the right way and the ring would cave in on itself. Uh, you actually had to call them and get replacement pieces for your ring and they would send you new posts and new, uh, new little pegs for the bottom down here. And uh, it was a fucking nightmare until they figured out the fix. So I had one of the very first runs of it. So it was a uh, very short-lived error. But every ring moving forward had that. Also, for some reason, it had the little clips that go down the center of the ring. They actually came in and out. Whereas after the first run, they were screwed in. Uh, I don't know why they did that. But they did that. Uh... Anyways, enough about the ring, which, by the way, this is a fantastic ring. I still have one right here. This is the ring I will always be using. Uh, I have the, I mean, I have the Elimination Chamber, the Money in the Bank, the Classic Cage, which, you know, these little pieces right here go for. Uh, I have a Hell in a Cell for it. Uh, I mean, it's my favorite ring all time. It's got great scale. Uh, I like the cloth turnbuckles, the ropes, the tag ropes, the, you know, it it's... It's an amazing ring altogether, and the steel ring post, too. Uh, anyways, that's not why you're here. You're here for the figure, so let's get to unboxing it. Oh, that was easy. Hmm. Don't care about that. Chavito, Chavito. Okay, take that out. Oh, his bandana stuck on his head. It's been on there for so many years. It's actually a great Chavo when you really look at it. Like, you look at, like, his boots, his tights. Like, I have the green Eddie Guerrero from the Classic Series, Classic Series 17. So, when you switch these out, it's just, like, they they actually go together well for a tag team. Uh, this Chavo is not living on his dad, uh, I mean, on his uncle's memory yet. Eddie has not died at this point. Chavo's still, you know, Chavo. He's not... Kerwin White yet. He uh, is just a little Chavito. Eddie's little sidekick. 
However, let's see how this looks on here. This is the head I'm going to use. Not bad, not bad, but the skin tones are completely off. Yeah, it's bad. So maybe I'll use this Chavo for my for my torso swap because I have the Chavo body right here. Maybe I'll use that for my torso swap. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if there's any questions you have or anything you want to see. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I'm going to try and put a video out every week. Uh, if not uh, every other week or, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. So maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be two a week. I don't know. We're not living on a, on a set schedule. So anyways, like I said, like, subscribe, comment below, uh, hit me up and I will answer your questions as soon as I can. See you guys next time.